These cameras are almost exactly the same. They're both turrets, they're both 5 megapixel, they both have a 2.8 millimeter lens, a similar field of view, and pretty much the same features. There's only one tiny detail that separates these two, country of origin. This camera was manufactured in China, this camera was manufactured in Taiwan. Why does that matter? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Hi everybody, it's Tyler from Nelly Security, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about TAA compliance. I know what you're thinking. You come here to learn about all of the cool things happening on the tech front of the surveillance industry, not all the annoying politics happening in the background. I mean, if you wanted to hear about politics, you just hop onto your small hometown's Facebook group. But our goal at Nelly Security is to equip you with everything that you need to thrive in your business. And sometimes that means we have to have uncomfortable talks about the government and trade agreements and other issues that may impact which jobs you're able to accept and which products you're able to install. I mean, it's kind of like how you can't have Darth Vader without the Trade Federation. They are still coming through. This is impossible. Okay, on second thought, maybe that was a bad example. All right, let's cut right to the chase. As you probably know, we have a new brand here at Nelly Security, Vivotech. Vivotech cameras are manufactured in Taiwan and are fully compliant with both the NDAA and the TAA. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about exactly what that means and why it might be important for you. But first, there are three things you need to know. First, Vivotech is an addition to Uniview in our series, not a replacement. I know we've gotten a lot of concerns about this from our customers. People have been asking us if we are transitioning away from Chinese-made products and that's not the case. Vivotech is an addition to our product lines, not a replacement. Number two, TAA compliance should be assessed on a case by case basis. This is not like the NDAA, which is a blanket restriction across pretty much any government related jobs. The TAA is not nearly as cut and paste. So don't treat this video as a step-by-step -step instruction manual on whether or not you should start installing Vivotech. Instead, treat this more as a general guide to get you up to speed on the TAA and to start thinking about some of these issues. And number three, Vivotech is good for more than just TAA compliance. Obviously in this video, we're going to be talking a lot about the TAA and TAA compliance. Just don't forget that Vivotech has a lot more going for it than just the TAA. We wouldn't bring on a new brand if it didn't represent the cutting edge of security technology. So even if the TAA does not apply to you and your jobs, you should still definitely give these cameras a shot. All right, with those disclaimers out of the way, let's jump right into this video. It's July, 1979. Jimmy Carter is the president. Gas costs around 86 cents per gallon. Isn't this disgusting? Sony's Walkman launched in Japan earlier this month. <laughs> And the 96th U.S. Congress just enacted the Trade Agreement Act of 1979. This act was the U.S. government's response to an ever-expanding open-world trading system. The U.S. needed a way to monitor international trade and foster economic growth both at home and abroad. Their answer to that was the TAA. The one aspect of the TAA that we're going to focus on in this video is the fact that it gave government programs the ability to choose whether or not to restrict certain goods and services obtained for a federal contract. Any federal program to this day can choose to follow the TAA guidelines or not. Other businesses and municipalities might also choose to follow the TAA guidelines for their own internal processes. Again, there are no hard and fast rules for this. Whether or not a particular contract needs TAA compliance is totally up to the individual. As a security professional, you may or may not be required to install TAA compliant products. It's totally going to depend on your client's needs and preferences. However, this is still really good information to know in case you ever do have a job come up that has strict country of origin requirements. So what exactly is TAA compliance? Well, in order for a product to be considered compliant with the TAA, it has to be made in the United States or its country of origin has to fulfill one of the following four requirements. It has to be a country in free trade agreement with the United States or it has to be a country in the World Trade Organization that has signed the government procurement agreement. 
or it has to be one of the least developed countries or one of the Caribbean basin countries. In total, there are 123 countries that are considered TAA designated as of July 2022. Any product manufactured within one of these countries would be considered TAA compliant. China, where a good majority of video surveillance equipment comes from, does not meet one of these four requirements. We are not in free trade agreement with China. China has not signed the GPA. And clearly China is not one of the least developed countries or one of the Caribbean basin countries. Therefore, anything made in China is not TAA compliant. Univue and our series are both developed in China. This doesn't mean anything about the products themselves. They're still excellent products. And for the most part, they're NDAA compliant, which we'll get to here in a second, but they are not TAA compliant simply because of their country of origin. Vivotech, on the other hand, as we've mentioned, is manufactured in Taiwan. Since Taiwan was one of the original signers of the GPA, these cameras do fulfill the requirements for TAA compliance. So if you are installing cameras for a government program, for a municipality, for an enterprise or corporation that requires or prefers TAA compliance, then you might wanna check out Vivotech cameras. Now let's talk about how the TAA differs from the NDAA. If you are in the video surveillance industry, then surely you've heard about the NDAA by now. If you've been living under a rock since 2019, I will leave a link down in the description below to our full guide that will tell you everything you need to know about the NDAA. In a nutshell, the 2019 National Defense Authorization Act limited which video surveillance products and telecommunications products can be installed and maintained on government property. The NDAA only restricted a few Chinese brands, but these few brands were major players in the video surveillance industry. We've got Hike Vision. We've got Dawa, two of the most popular CCTV manufacturers out there. We've also got Huawei, which was the owner of HiSilicon, which was the developer of the most popular chipset for security cameras. In other words, most security cameras out there were no longer able to be installed on government properties. They were not compliant with the NDAA. Just because a product is TAA compliant does not necessarily mean that it's also NDAA compliant. Remember, TAA compliance only refers to the country of origin, whereas NDAA compliance refers to the composition of the product. A camera can be manufactured in a TAA designated country like Taiwan, but still have the high silicon chip inside of it, rendering it not compliant with the NDAA. But Vivotech once again fulfills all regulations of the NDAA. No part of this camera was manufactured by Hike Vision or Dawa. It doesn't contain any parts that were developed by HiSilicon or Huawei. This means that VivoTech cameras are fully compliant with both the TAA and the NDAA. So when should you install VivoTech products instead of say Univue or R series? Well, there are a few things to consider. First, you'll want to consider your client's needs. When you start working on a new contract with a client, they may or may not have strict country of origin requirements. If they need TAA compliant products, they probably also need NDAA compliant products. And in that case, you will definitely want to stick with Vivotech. If all they need is NDAA compliant and TAA compliance is not an issue, you can still install Univue since all of the products that we carry for Univue are fully NDAA compliant. In most cases, your client isn't going to need NDAA compliance or TAA compliance. And in that case, you can open up your product offerings to just about anything we carry. You'll still want to shy away from brands like Hike Vision and Dawa simply because the US government hasn't stopped with the NDAA there. There are other FCC regulations coming down the pipeline, but that is a whole nother video. The next factor you'll want to consider is your client preference. Even though the TAA might not be a strict requirement for your client, they might still want to know what their options are in terms of country of origin. With the NDAA and FCC guidelines, people are becoming more and more wary of Chinese made surveillance products. So if you do have a client who is concerned about where their products are coming from, you do have Vivotech to offer. Another factor you might want to consider is your own preference. When it comes to compliance, the burden is mostly going to be on your client to know what they need and when they need it. It's not necessarily your job to know if your client needs a TAA compliant camera or not. However, there are some dealers that just want to remain fully compliant no matter what with the TAA, with the NDAA, with the FCC, 
you know, you might just want to cover all of your regulation bases. And if that's the case, VivoTech is here for you. The last factor that you might want to consider when deciding whether or not you want to try out VivoTech actually has nothing to do with the TAA at all. But VivoTech is a great option for you if you are looking for a way to create your own brand of surveillance products. All of the VivoTech cameras that we carry are the OEM versions, meaning they're totally blank. They don't come with VivoTech's branding. We can stamp your logo for free. We can give you custom model numbers. You can completely customize the colors of the web interface to match your branding. So VivoTech is a great option for that as well. So let us know down in the comments below, is TAA compliance an issue for you and your client base? Are you gonna try out VivoTech for yourself or have you already tried VivoTech? If so, let us know what you think. We always love hearing your thoughts. If you have any questions about this video, about our VivoTech products, or about anything else, feel free to reach out to us anytime. Be sure to check the links down in the description to browse all of our VivoTech products today. Happy installing, and I will catch you in the next video.